Okay, so today I'm going to go ahead and do a video on removing the Legacy GT hood scoop. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm installing this extended hood scoop over here that should complement these visual mods that I've been doing pretty nicely. So first thing I'm going to do is take off this um, heat shield on the hood here. Uh, and basically, we've got some push pins all over the heat shield. You can see those. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull those out and then fold this down. I'm not going to take off the entire thing because it's not completely necessary. But basically, this front portion, the pins will have to come out so that the hood can fold down. Now, on my car, it's about 15 years old. This hood protector is extremely delicate. You can see it's ripped there. The second I touch that, that's going to... It's gonna fall apart. So I'm gonna be very gentle as I do this and I suspect some of you with older cars are probably in the same situation. So keep that in mind. Look at this. So some of it came off with the detector and you can see that thing just crumbles right away. So careful when you're pulling this off. Now, I can pull this back and you can see those four screws, four bolts in the top there. That's what's essentially holding the hood scoop down. If I take this one here, see those same four bolts. So all I have to do is remove those and then I should be able to pull the hood scoop off, put this new one on and secure it down and that should be that. So let's see if it's that easy. So as you can see, I've folded the heat shielding down and that is going to leave a bit of a crease, but that's okay. I think it'll still be effective. And I've gone ahead and removed these three bolts so far. Uh, that one actually was so rusted it broke off, which is strange because it's the only one that was rusted. Um, and the heat shield itself has gotten loose. Can't tell there, but it's definitely loose. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this last one off and then I can pull it right off. Well, shit, it came out. <laughs> okay, so I figured out the, the problem here, and that's that there's a clip here. And there's a clip right there. There is no clip on here. So that confused me, and that's why that happened. But, <laughs> that should be a lot easier to put on than it was to get off, that's for sure. Anyway, hood scoops off. Just for comparison's sake, here's a quick side-by-side -side of the old and the new hood scoop. You can see that one's just a tiny bit larger. Don't wanna, you know, be too, too out there. But I'm told it does give a little bit of a nice aesthetic effect. Okay, enough of that. Okay, so once I uh, put the, the new one on there, it went on like butter, just tightened all the screws down, uh, put all the poppets back in, and everything looks good again. So let's close the hood and see how it looks. And there we go. Nothing too crazy, just a little more aggressive. A little more WRX, STI style. So, that's another upgrade down. Like and subscribe, you know what to do. And I'll see you next time.